Hi, you guys. Hi, everybody. Hi, Aries. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to your weekly love reading. So this is for the weeks in February. So we're ending off January, we're moving into Feb. Happy Feb. So this is your reading in the perspective of this other person. We're going to look into what's going on in your love life, what's happening with them. You know, we're going to get some finer details. So just in case you don't already know or, or like you're new. So you guys, really quick, I want to thank you guys for all your likes, comments, subscriptions, and shares. Feel free to do that if you have been wanting to do that. Feel free. It's just a cool little reminder. And you guys, please remember that these readings are general. So take what resonates and leave the rest that does not. Also, um, to connect with me further or to know more in depth about your own personal situation, you would need a private reading. You can um, order one of those by visiting my website. It is linked down below in the description bar. Okay, now with all that being said, Aries, now we're going to jump into your reading for this week. Okay, Aries. So I feel an immense amount of pain, resentment, sadness, but it feels like pain, really not knowing where someone is going, you or this person, not knowing what's next, not knowing what's to come, or not being certain of what's coming, not trusting that anything is coming. Someone in the situation feels really bad or the situation went really awry. <clears throat> There's a lot of things that are not being spoken on. Like someone isn't saying certain things. Someone isn't saying everything. <clears throat> some good, some bad. It feels like certain things happened as well. Like things happened, so things went bad. All right, Aries, this person is just like staying afloat. They're um, starting to see this connection with you as more positive. And they're starting to work on things with you and um, like give to you the way that you give to them. Focus on, you know, their well-being, their health, their mobility their wellness. I feel like this person is, they have, they're so confused and like they, they, they have something very daunting. They have a big task at hand, something big that they need to overcome or deal with or that they've even taken on voluntarily that they don't think that they can handle and they're not talking about it or they're hardly talking about it. And so, you know, this person, you know, that might be the reason why they're approaching you and being fair, <clears throat> giving you what you deserve. I feel like you're starting to get what you deserve. You're starting to get what you put out, you know, or you're just getting what you put out, this person is giving to you and feeling like they're receiving as well. I feel like you guys are, have just moved on from everything and just are being open, like not even, like you're just not even thinking about something bad. Like I'm hearing not even thinking about it, it, it anymore. So not even thinking about something that happened anymore. Because this person is healing. They've healed, you've healed. 
you both got a wish come true. You're going through a time of healing that will lead to a wish come true. I feel like someone, they feel ashamed, like they don't want somebody to talk about something. They don't want someone to open up. Someone is dealing with very shameful um, repercussions, actions, or dealing with somebody who shames them very much. Somebody who shames, shames, shames others, shames. So this per this person is like stepping into their heart. They're doing whatever they can to be in their heart, clearing their mind, getting to a good emotional space, getting making peace with the past, seeing the offer you made them, accepting the offer you gave them, cherishing it. This person is also seeing your worth. They see your worth in a very real way. And they want to work on things with you. They want you to know that you're worthy. They want you to see this too. So yeah, this person is given to you. They're being fair. They're being balanced. Everything is justified. It's because you and them have healed. You guys have healed from devastation. Oh my gosh, I feel like it was just complete rebuttal, backstabbing, pain, dismission, dismiss, dismission. Like a lot of pain. Something really bad happened. Somebody moved on, somebody took action, somebody traveled, somebody got a, a letter. A letter was sent, somebody sent a letter, sent a message did something, took action, pulled off. I feel like this is a pattern. And they concluded the cycle pulling off. They healed. Or even a, it's like a pattern of, um, like it's a, a bit, like they wanted to break out of a bad habit. You know, this person had a bad habit. They were in a bad, like something was draining their energy and keeping them stuck in a bad loop, you know? And this was just feeling shut out, not seeing their connection to the, to the divine. Someone in this connection was heavily dealing with this. And this person is healed and they see that they're connected to the divine. They see their worth as well. And they see that they can just safeguard their emotions. They don't need to worry about certain things because this person faced their contrast and their conflict. This person worries about being forgotten, left out, or they at least they used to, you or them. This person worries. And they've they also have faced like contrast, but they've also like dealt with some like this person has just dealt with things that have been anger inducing. not knowing what to do and also being frustrated, too frustrated to deal with something. So they just put it down. <clears throat> and this person, you know, their trust and faith in the unknown was restored. I feel like there was something going on behind the scenes in their life. Yes. And this might've been somebody betraying them somebody planning on hurting them, somebody who already hurt them. But I feel like there, there were some plans that were like m m usurped, like, like they were blocked, maligned. Somebody maligned this person. Perhaps they were maligned. Jeez. And that, and this is this person is keeping this a secret. If you don't know about this, they keep this a secret. They've transcended this, but this is something. No, this is like deep. They were this person was betrayed. They were maligned. They don't talk about it too much. They don't open up about it that much. They've received an offer to feel their feelings to. Um, just accept themselves fully. 
to trust their emotions. And this offer is taking them to an another level in their life. They're ascending because, of, because they're taking this offer. So there's someone here that dealt with a lot of malignment, like their character was assassinated and they were maligned. Like this person, they went through something that it, it, it grosses them out. Doesn't feel like it was um, anything too intrusive. Like, it was intrusive enough that it's traumatizing, but it's not intrusive enough that it's like, I'm not feeling any sort of emotional comp component to this, or there might've been, it feels like it's very mental, verbal, visual, visible, whatever they went through. So, um, yeah, this is like, it's very strange, but it's a very, this person went through something so strange. And they have ascended past it. So yes, right now they're starting to give more to this connection, see this connection as more as a, as more of an optimistic thing, as more of um, something that gives rather than something that drains. I feel like this person wasn't really seeing this connection as something that um gives or drains they were seeing it whatever other way they were seeing they now they're seeing it as something that gives and that they can give to you know this person is like getting back you know oriented they were feeling happy about you and them in the recent past i feel like you guys were also happy too but there was a lot of happiness because you guys are both surrendering to each other's perspective you them and them you and their perspective um, definitely was different than yours, but it, you know, I feel like it was, you could understand it, but also this person is seeing you differently and their perspective is expanding as well. This person was also celebrating this connection. They were celebrating a change. Um, I feel like there was a change, perhaps a Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. I feel like there was a swift change, a message of a new beginning, a message of an event, something that took place that brought everybody a new beginning, that this person is now celebrating and they were celebrating it since the recent past because this person sees now why something had to happen. So there was something that happened where it was very swift. It was all of a sudden, it was unexpected and it was traumatized. It was terrifying because it was so sudden, it was so shocking. And it was so unexpected, but it was a blessing. It was a new beginning for this person because in the recent past, they realized why. Okay, so they got some spiritual alignment. So did you about this relationship and about something you already know about as well. So they got some spiritual alignment about something that you know about, something that they know about, about this relationship. And that, you know, oh, this person, they're just going to trust their intuition and keep going in whatever way that they feel like they need to keep going or they, or that, you know, maybe even that they've told you that they need to keep going. You can just keep going. This connection is very grounded. I feel like there's a very earthly connection or, you know, there's a very um, nature, natural connection between you and this person. Um, this person is, is very solid. This is somebody who has always been very giving, nurturing, but um, materialistic. Uh, they always think about time or put time in their mind. Um, they work until things come to fruition. They see things to the end. Um, that's how this person was, in the, and that's how they came in. They came in, they did something like that for you. They supported you through something like that. I just feel like there's some sadness and there's some confusion. There's some questions, disgust. I'm feeling disgust.
But then when I look at the cards, it's like, um, you know, it's not really being shown. So this is definitely this person's feelings. It's like what you see from this person is not what you truly, is not how they truly feel. So, if, you know, this person is not showing up and they're not speaking to you, you know, and you might feel like they're angry at you. That's not how they truly feel. And that might not even be how they would truly even show up if you saw them and spoke to them. But they are dealing with some animosity, disgust, tension. They're disgusted. So they want a new beginning in love with you. Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini. They want a new beginning in love with you. And they're also like this person is like thinking about how happy you made them and how happy you guys used to be. I feel like you guys were so happy together. Aww. And I feel like that's what it is. This person might be realizing something. And they're realizing something about um, a choice that they've been needing to make or a choice that they made. Perhaps even a decision they need to make about you or about a new beginning that they got in their life. Okay. So this person, they're thinking about loving you because of a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio man or a woman that came into their life. This person helped to heal their mind. They healed their mind by um, stepping into their authority and um, doing what was right, doing the right thing. And also this person protected them, okay? They protected them from a transformation that this person, this um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is gonna end up going through because they're not fully going deep enough to understand what is truly going on between this person and you, or this person and them. So this Pisces Cancer Scorpio is going is going to end up going through something, but this person protected them. And that's for a few of you guys, you know, whoever that resonates with, you know, yeah. So um, that is, you know, this person, this water sign person who came into their life stirred their emotions. came across as trustworthy and they really felt a connection with them, but also they felt like this was like a once in a lifetime thing. And then this person really felt a, a, a massive passion and they learned a lesson, but this person, it's like they can't understand this. They're expanding and growing. They feel deceived by whoever this um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is, but this person is breaking out of a bad habit of possibly even feeling deceived. And they're being grounded, okay? And realizing that they're just getting recognition, okay? And this is recognition for their feelings, their purest, deepest feelings that they cannot understand, they cannot control, that they cannot um, like for who they are, I'm even hearing, um, spirituality. So this person, they want a new beginning in love with you because they, you make them very happy, but it's like, They've decided that they would love if if it came to if it happened they would love it if you guys are already together they're you know something about it feels like chancy if you accepted it they would do it like um and it's because this person is following their heart but ultimately this person had an experience with a pisces cancer scorpio person where they were protected from whoever this person was if this person had bad intentions which i am feeling like this person ended up you know, having bad intentions or not really being 100% honest, but this person stirred their emotions. And it made this person um, 
understand certain things about you and about um, other people and themselves. And this person has had a lot of movement in their love life as a result of this person coming into their life, actually. So they are embracing their feelings of love for you and they're happy about it because they know that no matter what, like they can't make a bad choice. And that's why they're coming to you with prosperity. That's my guess. That's why they're coming to you like all high vibrational. I feel like there's someone around them or you who's very icky. They might have icky intentions. They might be dealing with something very icky. Somebody around them, somebody around them, somebody around you. Doesn't matter, don't be paranoid. Um, but you can if you want to, listen. I'm not gonna tell you what to do, listen. But somebody around you, somebody around them is icky or even has icky intentions. So that I'm feeling like an energy aura of disgust. There's this disgusting aura. And they, they might be near them, working with them. This might be somebody that they're very close to. Mm. Somebody who feels like it's, it's it feels like somebody who's a pain in the ass. Somebody who is constantly a pain in the ass too. This person is constantly irritating this person. They're constantly an irritant. Now, this person keeps showing up because this person is the one who caused the divide between the two of you guys. Through either nurture or through just stepping in and intervening or both. Okay, so this person is coming up right now because this is um, the offer that the universe is giving you. And this is your solid offer. And the solid offer is um, your relationship, okay? Perhaps you have a soulmate connection with someone else or with someone, and perhaps with someone new, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and you guys are, go are gonna face yourself and understand it because I feel like there might be some anger, some frustration, jealousy. You can't understand your feelings for them. You or this person, something, this is an immaculate offer. There's a new beginning here. There's a new beginning. That was almost overlooked. I almost overlooked it, you guys. A new beginning in happiness, a new beginning in celebration, friendship, everything, things going your way. Wait, this feels so confusing. This situ you guys are confused about the situation or they are, you are worried about this situation or somebody has some sort of new situation coming in and, and either in the form of a friendship or in the form of a person that, or, you know, romantic interest that worries them. And you could just be happy because um, you will get the clarity or even I'm hearing you receive the truth already about the situation. And it, you could be happy because everything is going your way. Your ships are coming in. Okay. You're not resting on your laurels. And, you, and also the reason why you can be happy is because you're journeying on your own and braving you know you're being brave and taking strides so um in this sense you're facing your abandonment wounds in this sense you're picking up the pieces I feel like people who wounded you as well, or people who might try to wound you in any way or in every way, they get what they deserve.
So take the offer, take the offer. That's what I'm hearing. There's an offer that you're being given, Aries, that you're being asked to take. I don't know what this offer is. It could be offer of healing, offer of food, offer of medicine, offer from God. Guardian angel. Some of you guys don't believe in your guardian angel. And, and your guardian angel is trying to speak with you, get your attention, protect you, assure you, unburden you, heal you. Some of you guys, you know, you went through something to to heal your body or perhaps heal you deeper. If you went through something that got you sick, it's to heal you deeper in your soul. In a place where it's like you can't reach it, you know? So you're being, you've received an offer, you have a new beginning that might frustrate you. The other person, somebody else in this dynamic, they might feel more connected to themselves spiritually they might also even be in a spiritual union now because of this offer, whereas someone else in this dynamic feels frustrated, angry. They have to face their anger as well. Like they're dealing with a lack of passion, lack of vitality. And I feel like this is a new beginning either way. Because the person who is frustrated, they have the unknown behind them, backing them. They've got the moon, they've got spirit, the universe, angels, goddess energy, mother energy. <clears throat> what my eyes can see, you know, standing at a lowest peak, your eyes cannot see, standing at the top of the hill energy. That's what's next to the person who's dealing with frustration, abandonment, lack, challenges because you might have been dealt a challenge or, or this other person was so what you what that other what that person has that's dealing with that frustration whether it's you or them I'm not here to get really down to the gritty or down, you know, they have the unknown they have spirit they have a spiritual nudge they have a spiritual calling that's being unearthed to them that they're surrendering to they're also expanding in their um, viewing of life. Your viewpoint of life is expanding. Whoever is going through this frustrating situation and whoever is going through a situation where this offer is to connect deeply with their spirituality and to connect deeply with their soulmate, which is you, they're seeing their worth and behind them they have their worth backing them they have they see value in their emotions they see physical real value health value in their emotions they see wealth in their emotions because they might have you know had an emotional hunch or they might just you know have a love for something and then they followed their love for that So, um, whew, that's a lot. I feel like a lot has happened to this person, to you. You guys have a lot of history with whoever this person is. A lot. You know, you have a lot of history with this person. Oh. 
you've been freed. So this person, they're realizing that they can be more sexually free and that you're just sexually free. They're realizing you just embrace your sexual freedom to do whatever you want, be whoever you want, go wherever you want, all that stuff. This person is also realizing that if they had any anger towards you or anger for you, they're letting it go. They have a hard time understanding you. Sometimes they feel like they just can't understand you because they're not slowing down and just being in the moment. They're trying to just rush ahead. So then it's like, they're not gonna understand you. You know, they're letting go of their anger. They had anger for you, they're letting it go. Eh, slowly, might not all come away, but a huge chunk of it being chipped away this over these next seven days. They enjoy your sexual freedom. And this person is actually opening up to their creative side, their nurturing side, their godly side in the feminine aspect because of you. They realize you're a divine feminine Aries. This person is a feminine. They realize that they're divine feminine. If they're a man, they're resolving conflict inside of themselves. They're resolving pain inside of themselves, especially if this is a man. Or some, or some it, I keep on jumbling over my words. <laughs> so um, you guys, I feel like this person, they might not trust themselves. They might um, hold back. This person doesn't speak. They, uh, they, they always like, never are clear or never like want to be stand firm and they're coming out of that they realize that about themselves they're realizing that that has not served them it, it wasn't like they they birthed it to serve them it might have been birthed to protect themselves they might have started doing this in order to protect themselves from harsh energies or people who don't really wish them well you know this was a, a defensive mechanism at the very um, most. So I feel like this person, they, uh, um, they might not really notice much about you or you might think that this person doesn't really think about you, but they do, or you might blow this off. But this person, they wanna take the first step towards you. They're thinking of doing it, okay? And they, you know, realize that they need to take their first step. And so do you. And um, they're also realizing that they're protected by angels. You know, they don't want to think about the pain of the past anymore. But they're, they're realizing that they're protected by angels. That they're, you know, they, this connection is, between, you know, but also things that happen between you and them, they might have felt like even you wronged them. But this person is realizing that you, like nobody can wrong them, you know, um, or even other people wrong them. Other people might have taken them away from you, whatever they want to say or whatever happened. But they're realizing that they're just protected by angels. And this person is, you know, they know now that they can be sexually free. They can be um, fluid. They can um, be uninhibited if they choose to be, and if that's what they like. All right, Aries. So you guys, there's someone here that here, you know, someone who you're connecting with, they're dealing with someone who is, they, fe they fear that this person is looking into them, or they fear people sabotaging them, or they probably deal with a lot of deception, envy, jealousy, just icky energy, once again, ickiness. 
this person is realizing they can be who they are now and they're going to start to take the first steps in being who they are being free letting go of the past as well because this person is understanding that people who block them from being sexually free by being jealous or people who block them from be by being from being sexually free by being jealous and taking action not just being jealous and hating on them being jealous and trying to you know thwart it and stuff like that they get devastated so far down that you know it's almost like all this person needs to do is take a shower at the end of the day to wash off all that crap but that person was putting so much effort to try to destroy their life and all that person did was destroy their own life so this person is understanding if they were hurt by many other people or if this person was hurt deeply by someone in particular um they are realizing that person they got so devastated down that it's not even like that person got everything that they were worried that that person was going to do to them that happened to that person that while they were trying to do that to them or while they were thinking that they were going to get in that timeline even before they could even hop in the timeline they got devastated down so this person is embracing themselves and being emotionally free to be who they are like this person is just like expressing themselves expressing themselves not being sorry for how they feel not being sorry for what they think because it comes from how they feel they're just really being who they are untouchable you know this person is a divine feminine and they realize that you are too especially for the feminine aries i do feel like there's this effort to not say it to not acknowledge it this person tries not to acknowledge it they might tell themselves that you're not <laughs> you know they get <yeah. laughs> They might tell themselves that you're not divine feminine. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my God, a raise the vibration. That is raised up so high. That vibration is so freaking high, I can't breathe. So yeah, this person, they have a hard time admitting that you're divine feminine. <laughs> but they know that they're proje they're protected by angels and they are un honestly resolving the conflicts within themselves, stopping being angry at others. Because, you know, that's what happens when you're divine feminine. That's what people, that's the lengths that they'll go through when you're dealing with divine feminine or when you're divine feminine. All right, so Aries, shout out to you guys. <laughs> All right, I'm, I know I wasn't supposed to do that. But anyways, Aries, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. So much love to you all. Thanks for hanging out. I'll talk to you guys all super soon. I miss you guys already. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.